All right, what up? Uh, no script, but uh, today I decided, basically me and my wife are, or I should say my wife and I, proper grammar, uh, my wife and I are doing a deep clean. We were inspired by this show on Netflix about basically decluttering. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of sneakers. I used to have more. I used to have like 120 pairs, mostly dunks, you know what I'm saying? Like back in the, the mid 2000s, uh, a lot of dunks. I had some Reebok pumps, the glow in the dark Tron joints, had a bunch of joints, doesn't matter. But uh, basically I got rid of all of them and I thought I was done with shoes, but I'm hooked. So I still ended up accumulating like maybe 20, 30 pairs. And uh, it's time to get rid of a bunch of them and start new because I'm never going to give up the game, but I don't want that much clutter. I'm not about that life. So I guess we'll, uh, I just got a pile of like storage right here and uh, we're going to go through each one of them and kind of share a little story, maybe a little bit about them and you know what I'm saying? Like decide whether I'm going to keep them or not. It's going to be a tough one. All right. So the first one's right in front of me. Got these. Uh, as you can tell, very well worn. I pronate a lot, you know what I'm saying? These are the Liberty Vans. I think these are the second collaboration uh, with uh, Liberty and Vans. I love them. They reminded me of these custom, uh, you know, jump offs. Uh, I forget who the designer was, but I think he took like Versace scarves and, you know, converted into Vans. And when I saw these, I was like, yo, I need a pair. So I got these, but uh, I think they're ready for retirement. You know what I mean? Either that or I'll, I'll clean the midsoles. Still not sure, but uh, I think I might get rid of them. These right here, a pair of classic Vans, but I can never do just regular, you know what I mean? It's like, so I needed to do uh, suede, but as you can tell, suede doesn't stand up too good to dirt. You got the jean, the denim stains right there, you know what I mean? And of course the midsoles. It's the problem with Vans, that, uh, that vulcanized rubber, it's real sticky, it attracts a lot of dirt. So if you're not cleaning them often, they get dirty. Some people like dirty vans. Uh, not me. I like them to look uh, nice and clean. So these, I may either retire them or if I, I think I might keep them and just dye them black. That's actually what I did with another pair, but we'll see. These I'm getting rid of. I still don't know why I got these. These are just North Face, North Face uh, slippers. Uh, they're not comfortable. You can't walk with them. Like, they hurt your feet. Uh, they, I don't even know why they have rubber tread. Like maybe they're good for like a, a camp out before you go hiking. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I camped out. It's in my morning shoes. That's the only thing I could think of. They're not practical. And actually they, they kind of ugly, man. I made a big mistake on that. So these are going that way. They're done. These done. Uh, these are the, the full EVA rubber, uh, basically made out of like Crocs material. These are the Birkenstocks. They're real Birkenstocks, but they're just like full rubber. You know what I'm saying? You can see the stamp right there, Birkenstock. But uh, yeah, I guess I was going through hippie phase. These are done. Uh, these right here, I cannot get rid of. These are my Grensons. Uh, my wife bought me these as a wedding gift. You know what I'm saying? So I could have like a fly work shoe. These joints right here are pretty ill. Like you don't see too many triple welted. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you can see the details, the stacking of the, the leather sole. That's a real leather sole with the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, the Goodyear welt, you know? Uh, you don't see that too often, so, you know, you can tell these have been worn for a while. Uh, these probably will never need to get resold just because the, the sole is so freaking thick, you know what I mean? But uh, at the same time, it might need one layer peeled off because, as you can tell, the channel stitching is kind of like starting to wear down, like around the toe. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I was I was thrilled with these. I like the, the detail of the nails and the heel and everything. Really shows a lot of craftsmanship. Good leather. I believe it's calfskin. Uh, over brogued. You know what I'm saying? Sort of broguing the, the holes. If you don't know what broguing is. You know, extra large and whatnot. It's got the burnished toe. I could definitely polish these and whatnot. Get some shoe trees. These are staying with me forever. Let's see what else we got. Oh, my exotic leathers, dog. These... I mean, regular boom, bean boots, right? Just bean boots, rain boots, uh, bison leather. You know what I'm saying? Can't really tell. And the inside, it's got that nice, like, nappy suede. But this is uh, buffalo skin leather. Just super rugged. I've worn these many winters. Saved my life many times. They're really not that good for winter, though, to be honest with you, unless you wear super uh, thick socks. Because, uh, 
yeah, there's like no insulation. It's just rubber. That's it. So, but we're keeping these because these were a gift for my wife, and I don't throw away gifts. So, I'm stuck with them. Uh, these are the ones I did my video on, my first one on, my uh, my ultimate dad shoe, comfortable, cheap, and uh, kind of sick of them already. I pretty much only bought them for a vacation because I know I was, I was gonna do a lot of walking. So, eh, I'm gonna get rid of these. These were an impulse buy. These are ransoms. If you don't know uh, ransom, ransom is um, they. They're I, I believe they're a Canadian uh, streetwear brand, and uh, you know it, it's it's a cheap shoe. You know what I mean? Like the whole bottom is EVA rubber. Like there's no extra cushioning. It's just your foot and EVA rubber, which is cushioned by itself. But it's not like super impressive cushioning, like Boost or anything. You know, it's got the little uh, gum rubber inserts for additional traction. But uh, the problem with these, man, is um, they, they're, hard, they're hard to slip on. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're hard to slip on, and that's just a problem. You know what I mean? I like my shoes. The reason I get shoes with no laces so you can slip them on and off easy. These, the, the, the neoprene is just, the, the ankle opening is too narrow. So wasn't really feeling these. Uh, if you want them, hit me up. They're actually still pretty new. I would say like seven out of 10, good condition. I'll sell them for, you know, uh, I don't know, maybe like 20 bucks you pay for the shipping. No Alaska, no Hawaii, no out of country. <laughs> Not sure why I needed to say that. Getting rid of those. These right here, custom wallabies. I did these myself. Um, one of my rap idols, Thurston Howell III. Not just rap idol, but like fashion inspiration Thurston Howell III I wore this to one of his uh, gigs and my man complimented uh, you know complimented me on these so I was gassed so I'm like even though honestly I don't even like them that much I just know that they kind of attract attention you know what I mean like these are for like being a little flamboyant but uh yeah I just dyed them off made a little stencil you know did the whole thing myself and uh yeah I gotta keep these just for sentimental value these right here, another pair of wallabies. These used to be green. Uh, these were a gift from my wife, but these, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of them because they're just beat to death. But uh, they used to be green, they got mad dirty. Excuse me, so to save them, I just dyed them black because black hides stains, you know what I'm saying? So I gave them like an extra two years worth of life, but I, I think, you know, with the sole, if you could tell, it's just all dirty and the heel starts to get that ramp. I know all the wallaby wearers know what I'm talking about. It starts to get that that heel ramp where it starts like if you walk the wrong way, you twist your ankle. It's not a good look. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what else. Ah, some tailwinds. Yeah, I got these. I actually traded my boy Joey for these. I forget what I traded him. But uh, these are just old, you know, beat up. I barely wear them. You know what I mean? I don't really like them that much. I don't know what, what I was thinking when I got them. It was just, I guess I just wanted to trade for a new pair of shoes. And I got a new pair of shoes temporarily. But uh, yeah, if you want these, make an offer. DM me, whatever. Uh, let's see what else we got. Ah, my babies. I always get compliments for these. You know, Footscape Wovens. These are the Harris Tweed joints. You know what I mean? Uh I always get compliments. These joints, I've had these for probably like 10 years now. So, yeah, these are staying with me forever. It's simple. There's no real story on these other than the fact that they just, they break necks. You know what I'm saying? They're not even all that comfortable. In fact, this spot right here, I always, there's like a little stitching like right around here that always digs into my foot. And uh, I, I, you can't wear these barefoot because it just digs into your foot and hurts like crazy. Also, the, the little heel tab right here, if you wear it sockless, just rubs against you, you know, your heel a lot, opens blisters and stuff. So you definitely got to wear socks with these, but they fly. So, you know, sometimes fashion is more important than function. So we're going to keep those joints. Um, these, unfortunately, they are a gift, but uh, I question their authenticity. I remember seeing them on Hypebeast. And uh, being like, wow, those are dope. And then I finally found them online. I bought them off like an eBay store. And then I got them and like the leather was kind of weird. And one shoe fit tighter than the other. And 
I don't know if they're authentic, but you know, now they're just old, beat up, and there's, I just don't see a way to restore. But uh, I know my wife's watching me, so I might keep them. You can throw them out. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, these are these are the fir these actually are the first pair of sneakers my wife ever got me. Um, back when we were still just dating, you know what I mean. Uh, Air Max ninety five uh, Moors, I think they were. They were based on the, the the Lance Armstrongs, I think the the Nike Air Moor, and uh, it was just like a one piece upper. It's like felt material. You know, got a little bit of stitching, literally just for the the design. It's just like embroidery, but other than that, it's just a one piece upper with uh, with the free sole. You know, for the forefront, the Air Max ninety five unit, or it's, eh, I don't even know if it's technically an Air Max ninety five, other than the design appearance. But uh, yeah, these used to break necks, even though they were subtle. But now they just beat to death. So gotta get rid of them. These are gonna be tough. To get rid of these were the second pair of dunks I ever bought in my life. Uh, Superman's, as you could tell, the sole is all yellow, and uh, I actually kind of like that aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if I could get rid of these, man. These have a lot of sentimental value, man. Like these went to to New York City with me. I used to be a rapper for those who don't know, so I did like mad concerts rocking these. Actually switched out the, if you could tell, the, the SB laces. These are definitely not the original laces. Surprisingly, these laces stayed nice and white, though. It's impressive. I haven't really worn them that much. That's probably why, but yeah. Second pair of dunks I ever bought in my life. Back when I first started my journey of uh, having enough money to be a sneakerhead. Like, technically, I was always a sneakerhead, you know what I mean? Like, I was always rocking, like, stuff that other people were not rocking. Like, I was rocking Theodora's back when everybody was rocking Nikes. It's just always my thing to do my thing. But uh, yeah, man, when I finally had enough money and I was like, yo, Dunks is popping. Those are the second pair of Dunks I ever got. Got them for a steal too. My boy Terrence used to work at uh, the Foot Locker on Fordham Road in the Bronx. And uh, he got him, I got them for like 25 bucks, man. Now these bad boys, can't get rid of them yet. They're not old enough. These are a gift from my wife. Uh, these are the J. Crew New Balances. Uh, I'm not an expert on New Balances, so I don't even know the number. These, these are the what, the nine 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 eights. Yeah, so J. Crew nine nine eight, just real classic colorway. The the suede is just OD buttery, and of course, whenever you have a mesh toe box, mesh toe box is wonderful for running sneakers because it's so flexible and breathable. So. Uh, you know, this is like that shoe where it's like form meets function, fashion meets uh, functionality. It's a good sneaker. We're keeping these. Definitely keeping those. Oh, boy. These are trash. These are trash, dog. These are, these are my bootleg Visvims. Uh, this isn't even leather, dog. This is felt. And the, the sole isn't even vulcanized. This is just like glued on. These are so bad. But I used to get mad compliments on them, you know what I'm saying? Like, people used to be like, oh, those are so nice, those are so nice. And I'm like, stop these. In hindsight, they're trash. They're from ASOS. I think I got them for like 40 bucks. Those are garbage. These actually I got recently. Um, because I'm a widow and everybody's doing like running sneakers and boost soles and, and basketball shoes and whatnot. And I was like, you know what? I feel like everybody forgot about the cup sole. You know what I mean? So I went with a nice cup sole sneaker. Uh, it's got some regular, um, you know, some suede. Actually, the, the toe box is Nubuck. The, uh, the, the, I forget what this part is, the quarter panel or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Um, but the lace stay and everything, that's all like suede Nubuck, suede Nubuck. And then you get like this one specific area that's actually uh, leather and the, the heel counter is leather. It's got like a slight appears to be like uh, nah, textured leather, I guess you'd call it. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy. I just like the color, you know what I'm saying? You got a nice like monochromatic outfit, you know what I'm saying? Like wearing all black or all earth tones. You throw these on and it just gives it that nice little pop. It works good. Plus I got them for a good deal, so can't complain. These are beat to death. Actually, one of my favorites is prob probably why they're beat to death. This is one of my favorite sneakers of all time. Um, these are the uh, Nike sock racers, air sock racers. These are the originals, not the free ones, you know, the free sole ones that I, I had, uh, did the, the other review on. 
these were built to like the original construction, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got a lot of history on them, but they're just, as you can tell, they're just so beat up and ugly. And But man, it's so comfortable. You can just rock these with, without socks. You know, walk, I, I, man, I wore them as water slippers one time to a water park. I was loving my life. These things are fantastic. But they're old and beat. Gotta go. Uh, the Aneva Wovens. Haven't rocked these in a while. Actually, I remember when I first got them, I, I convinced myself they were super, super comfortable. Not that comfortable. It's just a free sole. Free sole is just typical EVA uh, rubber cushioning. It's nothing special about it. The only, well, the special thing about it is the flexibility of it. I guess that was impressive for some people. It's like, oh, I can flex, but bro, does your foot, does your foot really flex that much? Do you need that much flexibility? The answer is no. So I think it's kind of a pointless. Um, Pointless technology, honestly. I, I'm not impressed with it. Uh, the cushioning is mediocre. The upper, like, I love the way the sneaker looks. You know what I'm saying? On foot, it looks dope. But this is just, like, hard material. It's like rope. So, couldn't wear it barefoot, which I like to wear my sneakers barefoot in the summer. Um, and uh, But they, they serve their purpose, you know what I mean? Did a lot of traveling in these. You know what I mean? It's a good shoe. Can't complain. Uh, might keep these. These were a gift. I got a lot of gifted sneakers. Oh no, I'm actually kind of embarrassed about these. Uh, the Gourmets. I forget what model these are, but these are another pair of sneakers that I got just for like that uh, that eye popping, you know, that eye grabbing attention. You know what I'm saying? Like just rocking a super plain outfit, nothing special about it, and then you got that boom in your face, Golden Girls, Versace. Uh, Liberace style, just, you know, offensively ugly on purpose. Uh, faux opulence, you know what I'm saying? The suede is actually really dope, though. I can't even complain. Like, the, the construction of the shoe is really good. Uh, the, you know, they stitched it in really good. I think it's vulcanized and stitched. I don't know. But uh, surprisingly, these things were really comfortable. You know, the, it's got a good little cushion insert. The suede was stupid flexible and soft. You, I could wear these, uh, you know, sockless and everything. Laces were good, so, you know, they're kind of ugly and embarrassing in hindsight, but it's actually a well-constructed shoe. This is actually by uh, Buscemi, the, the guy who makes the Buscemi shoes that are like $1,000 Birkin bag shoes. This is where he started off, so I got a little piece of history, and I'm giving it away. It's done. Oh! My Wasabi. These were a collaboration wallaby with uh, Oi Poloi. They're, uh, they're out in England, you know what I'm saying? And uh, man, these are made out of kudu, kudu suede. Kudu suede is like my favorite suede in the universe. It's so soft, it's so flexible, it's incredibly breathable. You could wear it like barefoot. Like you could see my fingers just like flexing through that. It's just, it's like a, a, a glorious leather sock, but suede and Oh man, it's soft, it's flexible, it's durable, and it's just so beautiful. I mean, just, I don't know if the camera can catch those details, just that nice little, the, the, the natural creasing of everything. I wish you could feel it, it's so beautiful. I can't get rid of these, I mean, they're beat to death, but I'm just never gonna find another pair of Kuru Suede moccasins. Kuru Suede, by the way, uh, it's an African antelope, K-U-D-U, -U, if you wanna Google it. But uh, yeah, it's just an incredible material, best material in the world. So I'm keeping these, and uh, I hope that one day I find the time to get them resold, get a new sole on them. Um, same thing. These are just uh, the other, you know, what I'm saying the other ones were wasabi. These were, uh, I think they called them mustard or something. These, as you could tell, I just wore them to death, man, because they were the greatest shoe of all time. The cushioning of the crepe sole. I don't know, if, if you don't wear wallabies, you're not gonna know. Um, the crepe sole actually molds to your feet the more you wear it. So it customizes to your feet. I actually, uh, a friend of mine tried to wear a pair of my wallabies, like borrowed. He almost bro broke his ankles because they, my foot mold was already in there and my, my gait and everything, the way that I walked was already like built into the shoe naturally. But dang, I don't think I have any other wallabies with a sole that bad. These are destroyed. And uh, 
like I said, man, I'm just I got I'm gonna keep the upper. Like something's gonna happen, but I can't get rid of these. Oh, these bad boys, Adidas uh, Boost EQTs. These were uh, not Ultra Boosts. Um, I forget what they were called. But basically, I got these because I was looking for a sock upper, as you could tell. You know, nice and stretchy, nice and breathable. And I wanted a Boost sole. That's all I wanted. I wanted something that slipped on and had a Boost sole because Boost is just so incredibly comfortable. So, uh, you know, that's what I wanted. But uh, I didn't like the, the EQT straps, you know what I mean? Like it had like the three stripes and all of that. I don't like Adidas branding. I don't like the three stripes, it's just, I don't know. So uh, I just chopped it up and I cut off the straps and I just left the heel counter. The heel counter is actually kind of dope because it's got a real buttery soft like leather uh, insert there. But uh, yeah, these things are super comfortable. The only problem is, um, hold on, let me show you so you can see. Yeah, that's a problem. Not very durable, not very durable at all, unfortunately. So, he's gotta go. Let's see what else we got. Trash. I mean, my wife likes them because they look nice, but they fit terribly, they're uncomfortable. It's not even a real leather sole. I don't even know what material that is. Maybe it is, I don't know, but it, yeah, I don't think that's real. They make it look real, but that's something else. They look nice, they feel terrible, they're gone. Let's see what else. Ah, got some more Kudu. Got some Harry's of London's. Uh, this is before they got a little popular amongst a certain demographic. Uh, I got these on Gilt before Gilt got popular um, for like half price. These are like $400 shoes, I got them for 200 so these, you know, Kudu suede, as you can tell, just gorgeous velvet, delicate, buttery velvet with pure flexibility and, and durability. It's a beautiful thing. And uh, yeah, the sole was pretty cool because it was, you know, leather sole, but it's got a rubber insert for grip. I like these joints. I'm keeping these because they're reliable, like in between dress shoes, you know what I mean? Where it's like, you kind of got to dress up, but you don't really want to dress up all the way, you know? These are done, although I did love them while they lasted. Uh, Nike Air Mox, buttery suede. Not a whole lot to say about them, but uh, these are actually, I, I believe these are different than like regular Air Mox. They decided to, you know, do the, the, the cut-ins for the free sole. So I'm pretty sure that's different from original Air Mox. But uh, it's just a simple shoe, man. It's just literally slide them on, walk around, and you're comfortable. That was, the whole purpose is, is just I wanted a sneaker that I could just slide my feet in, walk out the door, and not worry about nothing. And uh, I like the funkiness, man. They're kind of funky. You know, they look, they look kind of funny on the foot. And uh, I was entertained by that. I liked it. Let's see what else. I think that might be it. Let me dig around here. Actually, I got some more sneakers, but they're... No, no, no. I got shoes. Ah, yeah, yeah. I got my Ranger boots. My... Uh... Yeah, my polo ranger boots. Oh, I see them over there, actually. My deerskin joints. These are a gift, but uh, not really big into just plain leather uh, ups. So I'm going to uh, take acetone to them until it's suede. And then I'm just going to die over the, the uh, suede. So these are going to get kept. Plus, they're brand new. You know what I mean? Never worn. My, my uncle gave them to me. He's like, I'm too old to wear these. And I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of too old to wear these, too. But... Uh, you know, we can make them work. We're going to upcycle them. Can you pass me those deerskins? These are another gift. I got a lot of gifted sneakers and shoes. So these right here, these are going on close to 10 years now. Kickskins, small uh, family-owned business, I think in Minnesota. Oh, no, not kickskins, footskins. These are uh, deerskins made out of deer skin deer skin is another leather that is incredible dog like it's a smooth leather it's not suede but it's just it's incredibly smooth like uh, like calf skin or if you ever touch those leather jackets that are just so buttery it's just like that except it it's just super durable like it it doesn't get gouged like I've I've done a lot of things in these things the gouges 
don't happen, like scratches don't happen. It stays super supple and flexible and durable. And uh, literally the only thing that's going on this is the bottom because these are, um, you know, suede sold, like OG Indian moccasins. You know what I'm saying? So it's got the canoe suede sole and uh, the suede is not deer skin because deer skin is not very grippy. So yeah, I'm finally starting to wear down on these, but uh, I love them, man. Stupid comfortable. It's got a pour on uh, foam insole. Pour on is what they use in the forefoot for Nike SBs. So Nike SBs, they have the, the zoom uh, air cushioning in the heel, and then they got the, uh, the pour on in the forefoot, super soft cushioning. So this has full length uh, pour on, mad comfortable. Um, and yeah, like I said, I got my polo boots. I got probably some other dress shoes somewhere around here that I got to get rid of. I got some Uggs that uh, I'm going to keep for the winter and then probably replace them next year. But that's it for now. So yeah, man, I still have a lot of sneakers that I ended up keeping. I, I think I got to dwindle that down just to kind of minimize the clutter because I still got too many shoes left. <laughs> this is a problem. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video more than anything for sentimental value, you know what I mean? Just to kind of be able to remember uh, all my fun shoes that I've had in the past and whatnot. And uh, we're just making room for new stuff because never giving up. I'm just gonna replace the old stuff with new stuff, you know what I mean? So thank you for watching my uh, ridiculous incoherent babbling. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I am the cozy connoisseur. Connoisseur of all things cozy. And we'll sign off with that.